Hello, everyone. If you are an entrepreneur or if you are a business owner who need to do outreaches, especially if you need to do cold email outreaches with personalized video, then today's video is for you. There are software solutions out there where they can do this for you, but there they have two problems. One is most of, not most, of the, there are only two solutions I found in the market. One problem is they don't actually scroll over that personalized URL. So they just go to the profile or website and it's a static image. Uh, it doesn't have interaction. That's the first problem. And second problem is they still cost a significant amount of money, uh, which is fine, which is would be a good deal if you are ready to scale as an agency or whatever. But if you just started out and you want to test out, you may not want to spend that amount of money. And also you tend to forget your subscriptions anyway. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through a solution that I developed last week. Half it's because of the problem and another half because it's just fun. Um, so yeah, I'll walk you through how to use it, uh, the structure of the repo and uh, how you can access and where you can get help with if you encountered any technical issue. Let's get started. So the whole process takes five steps that converts a CSV of URL into a uh, ready to upload videos and those URLs it's you can clean them but you don't have to the script is taking care of them so among those five steps two of them are menu steps where you only need to do them once and three of them are done by python script or shell script so the first step is the Python script will read the CSV file and will go will visit each URL with Selenium. And the Selenium will interact with the website as pause, scroll down, pause again, and scroll up for 10 seconds in total. The hard part of this is I used an unblocking screen recording solution, which means you can record, you can interact with the page and record the video at the same time. So this whole part, whole step is done in a Python script. Uh, it will just go through each URL until it's done and it also takes care of like whether the URL is still valid things like that the second step is when after we had those that 10 seconds long video of each URL we will elongate them into two minutes video we'll first elongate that 10 seconds into 30 seconds video because when selenium scroll the pages the Python API doesn't actually have a good control over how fast it scrolls so it looks unnatural. So this step is just to slow down that scroll process to look it more natural and then the video will pause on the last frame and uh, extend it to two minutes video which is the typical length of a sales pitch and you can change that. My sales letter is two minutes. The third step is a one-time thing. It's a manual process to prepare your talking head sales pitch video. Uh, you can do with any video recorder. Uh, I just use the webcam with Loom. So it basically crop that video into a circle and overlap with those screen recording videos. The fourth step, which is also done in Python script, is to overlay the talking head video over the website video. And there is a first time menu setup, and there's uh, things that the code will run through for each batch of the URLs or videos. For the menu setup, it only happens once if you don't change your setting for your screen recording and your talking head video, which is you need to resize them into same like uh, width and length because when we overlap them, we like take each frame overlap them each other. So if they are not the same length, it basically will crop them down and make cost error. Uh, so this is just cleaning up the data. And the second part is similar in the sense that you look at their code deck, their uh, FPS, their frame size, uh, similar purpose just to make sure two uh, sources of video files match up to each other. So that's for the first time. And for each time when you run through, when you're merging them, what happens is for each batch, each video, it will mask the black background of each talking head frame into transparent. And then it will merge the mask talking head frame with the website frame. And then it will generate the overlay video without audio because this 
image part is done by CV2. Uh, and then I used another library to add the audio from the original talking head video back to the merged overlay video. So I run a hundred videos each time, which takes about eight hours from the URL to the ready to send videos. And the last step is to upload them into Looms so that you, because you need a cloud host for this system, then you can embed them either through CSV instantly or manually in Gmail. So these are the three scripts involved in the whole process. The first is to record the website, and the second is to elongate that 10 second video into a two minutes video. Then the last step is to merge that talking head video with your generated website recordings. And when you look at inside the video folders, there is a recording, there is slow down of that 10 seconds into 20 seconds. Then there is elongated the last frame into two minutes. Then there's overlay. If the website has an issue, then it will catch them into this broken folder where you can revisit and see what's going on and if you want to redo that part of the video. Sorry, I forgot to mention one thing, how to run this repo. Uh, because I assume if you touch GitHub or code at all, you shouldn't know this, which there are only three scripts. There are only Python or shell script. So Python, you apparently use Python to run them, uh, Python 3, then the script. Um, for the shell script, uh, uh, make sure you change the, the mode to executable, then you just dot slash run the shell script. So this is today's video. The hardest part I find in this whole process, one is to find an unblocking screen recording solution that can work together with Selenium. And the second part is to make sure when the audio merged back to the video, because they are using two libraries, uh, the two data source can um, become out of sync, which took me quite a while to realize like all the codec, all the uh, image frequency and the uh, need to fully match up. Um, so that's all. If you have any issue using this repo, uh, I won't reply on GitHub directly, uh, but you can join our free community on school where you can post your issues or attend free daily workshops to get the help you need. See you next time.